Okey doke. Oh no. Oh, well, here we go. This is a um, little rig I've got set up. So, two magnets in there. And just like build in a bit of super glue. Opposite polarities. So that one won't go in there, obviously. You have to turn it over. So, what you do is. Um, okay, that there. Let's take one of these, take your head or whatever, head or arm, could use an arm actually, as I want to put an arm on. So you take an arm and you, um, that music bit has been out my end. So we just uh, enlarge the hole to the required size. I'm using two by ones, two mil magnets. Uh, I just generally go up in a couple of stages rather than all in one. Just to go a little bit deeper than needed. And on the two mil magnet, I've got a um, the old brush things, protectors, I've trimmed that off to the right length so it can't go any deeper than I need it to. Alright, that stops it there. Okay, that's a bit of super glue in the hole. So you take the magnet and you put that end in to the arm. And it goes back on there to the heads and arm section. Push it in so it's nice and flush. Give it a quick wipe off with your wet finger, just in case. And there you have. And then you can Swap him on your mini, like that. Or you can swap that head for that head. Hang on, let's get back down here. Keep it in focus. Yay! <laughs> Hiya, yeah. how you doing? Um, or oh, that head. Or oh, again, that head. Like so. So uh, yeah, so I'm in the process, I've done all the right arms on them. I'm in the process of carrying on with left arms and the rest of the heads. So you can go back there. So I've got two more bodies to get left arms on. So that's those two. So again, let's do another the other left arm. I'm hoping this one sorted itself in because it went a bit funny. So the corner. It's a bit fuzzy. Let's bring that focus back a little. Let's on it. Okay, so like I was saying, just make it a bit. Oh, it might not work. I might have to uh, refill that. I don't know, let's have a look. I might get away with it. <laughs> I mean, the other two sizes of drills doesn't matter how far you're going, really. It's this last one you want to keep keep it to the direct correct depth. Otherwise, your um, <laughs> magnet won't either won't go in far enough, or it won't. Uh, it'll it'll um, going a little too far. Okay, let's pop that in there. Bit of zoom it on. Again, making sure we go the right way around. So it's just lift it up and put it in. Take the rest off. Oh, get off. 
don't know what this is going to be. I thought that hole might be a bit of a bugger. Mm. We might be lucky. That one got super glue on that other drill magnet as well. But let's have a look. I've got some thinner magnets if I need to. Oh, nice. It's on there. That worked. It's okay. It's quite funny when you. I don't know if it'll work with this one. Oh, yeah. You can put a head on the shoulder if you like. So. Okay. So that's that one. And the last left arm. Is this guy. Uh, da, da, da. Are you working on anything, um, Calvin? Didn't say that right, did I? So it's just really pilot, pilot holes. Give yourself a bit of space for glue in that. And like I say, your finished hole. You want to keep it to the right depth. Jig into the hole. Yeah. I'll put that back. Make sure we get it around the right way. Try again. That's better. Because oh. once they're in there, they are a bit of a pain to get out if you've got them around the wrong way. Uh, you can use your nail. Sometimes I use this to make sure it's sort of flush. Hey hey, how's it going? And here we go. Missed. Get in. There we go. So now we have all five dudes with arms and heads. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. This guy here. And the last one is that one. There's a couple more arms to go. Just uh, those ones. You keep them busy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten heads um, for these guys. The librarian or room priest has got two heads, one helmeted, one partially. Um, but they, they're not finished, uh, no they're not finished painting yet. And these guys are pretty much done now. Um, all I've got to paint next is the pairs of arms, which is like these. They're already pre-magnetised. I do have a few issues with these on being already assembled and having put grenades and stuff on the bodies. I'm going to have to jig about with those. Because obviously when you gluing the mini together you put your arms and that on first and then put your mag uh, grenades and what have you um, foam is a good absorber of super glue if you get stuff in the wrong place uh, yeah so when in the, when you're gluing the bodies together you glue your arms on first before you put all your grenades and stuff on so, right, so now I can swap that on. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. Okay. I still have to 
come up with a um, a process for uh, storing them in the figure case. I think I've come up with some bit of a solution, but well for the heads anyway. I've got this magnetic sheet. Obviously, with the magnet on there, the heads can all once they're in the in the case, they can just stay on there, and they they pretty much won't go anywhere. And when, um, I'll be sitting this little square in here in the figure case, so that should keep them safe. Till he decides, till the client decides which heads he actually wants to use. So, yeah. I thought that was rather a good idea. It's not going to sort of work with the arms too well though because there's a recess so I might have to come up with some sort of way of, although they should be alright in the, in the little squares on their own. Oh cool, okay, yeah. Um, well yeah I suppose like because you're magnetising things are still apart so so yeah, sometimes I do, I, I have magnetised backpacks in the past as well, um, on other jobs, um, but um, yeah, I mean like I was saying with the, with the two arms, because they're already glued, they, they go on, but I've got a bit of an issue with the grenades, that, well it's not the grenades, it's the straps. So I might have to lose the straps so these sit in the right place, which I didn't think of before prior to putting them together. So, uh, so they'll go on, but not quite where I want them. Because I don't really want him walking around with his arms up over his head, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these little bits might have to come off, unfortunately. Uh, it's a bit annoying. But it didn't sort of, it's not something that sort of crops up while you're, you're, you're building and painting because obviously magnets aren't in there yet. But anyway, so I want to say gradually widen your hole up. Careful not to go too deep, obviously. And then drill a bit with the spacer. These, all these arms had big holes in them, I filled them, but I might have used the wrong putty because some of it breaks out. So they may need refilling after. So we shall see. Again, like I say, if you've got too much glue on there, dab it with a foam. We'll remove it. sort of make that go off with a wet finger just to be careful you don't get it too far and you get your you can stick it on there put his head in the right angle give him his knife and he's all set there you go Yeah. Alright. Now, well, just rinse and repeat <laughs> numerous times. So we could get a skill with these helmets done. And we'll see how they all look with helmets on. Yeah. 
yes yeah, I don't usually stream this time um, of day but I thought as I'm off this week I'll probably do some sort of impromptu streams during the week won't be too long I could, I could probably just do this one for an hour <laughs> just so see people can get the idea of um, how to do this Like I say, this is a, a crucial size, the size of your magnet. You just don't want it going too deep. Uh, normally, I do um, 8 o'clock Tuesday night. Uh, this is my time. There's a widget below the video, gives you times in your area, but I think it's, um, because we clock's moved, it's, it's an hour ahead. So it should say, 8am uh, Tuesdays, 8am 8 8 Saturday, 8pm 8 Saturday, 8pm Tuesday, and 2pm on a Wednesday, because that's my normal day off. But I'm hoping, I've applied for another job at work, which different hours so I can do should be able to do more evening streams thanks man um, should be able to do more evening streams if I get that position because um, that'll uh, that one's um, that's just working during the day because currently I start work at 3.30 in the morning and finish at um, well, around half 11 if I do the, the full, the two shifts. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Thanks man. Yeah, it's, like, it's looking pretty cool, aren't it? So, Getting there. Getting there. I'm lucky I've got a very patient client. <laughs> oh, cool. But like I say, if I get this other job, what I'll probably do is add a couple of. Uh, obviously, I won't be able to do that Wednesday afternoon, but what I'll be able to do is Wednesday evening. So what I'll probably do is do make it up to four streams in the week, and they'll probably mostly be evenings. So yeah, so it should, should work out quite nice. Yeah, it uh, took some getting used to. Been there f five, six months now. But, um, but yeah, nice. No, um, because basically I'll do one shift till quarter past seven. But they've got the option of um, giving me, if the work needs it, give me a second shift. So I'll have, I'll have a break and then work on till half eleven. Because um, my basic hours are 18, but I, really, I needed about 30 odd. So that's the way, only way I could get it. So I usually get well they, that's called flexing up so I usually get flexed up three or four times a week which makes up the money I want but yeah it's taking a little while to get used to it now because I've got a week off I'll just get used to it it takes a couple of days to get used to it when you go back so, but yeah so, so yeah I've been going to bed like at, you know, between 7 and 8pm most nights so consequently I haven't seen too many other I've had to stop watching some of the streamers I was watching mm. so I can stay up late Tuesday nights and Saturday nights <laughs> at the moment Okay, thanks for the follow, Calvin. <laughs> oh. So 
And you know, if you lose your head, it just goes to your arm. Yeah, just a couple of days to get into it. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's go. But yeah. Did my alert go off? Did my bunyip pop up? I missed it. Supposed to make a wishy washy noise <laughs> like he's walking through the swamps. <laughs> oh, that must be too loud, then, a little bit. Let's try that. That's right, then. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. Work. You know, twitches. <laughs> super glue down and the, the toothpick got stuck on it I lifted it up and it covered up where is it it smothered um, super glue over the top of the head at the top of this one so I've got a, he had a big blob of super glue sitting on his head so I've got to fix him <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's been ages painting that <laughs> so, either that or I'll just repaint up another head I've got, I've got another head so Okay, so that's all the helmet, helmeted heads. Oh, knocked his arm off. It's not in. Why did that not go in? So that looks build. <laughs> So this is the um, this is the room priest. So he's about halfway through painting. So loads of conversion work on him. Sculpted all his fur. <coughs> Made some push molds um, from wolfy bits, paw uh, skull heads, and, um, uh, the paw on his shoulder there. And uh, the wolf head there. So it goes that's that map. Okay, so come up so we can get him so you can see his head. Although I'm not too sure I actually painted the eyes. I think I did. I think that's where the eyes were. But it didn't come out too well. Well looking at the the mould. I'm pretty sure that is the eyes. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Come out alright. And I um I took off the um what was on here and sculpted with green stuff. So new ones could be in a bit neater, but that and we think we've worked that out in uh, like runes that should say bunyip. <laughs> Whether it does or not, I'm not sure. But uh, we think we got it right. So, but yeah, so he's finishing off to paint. Um, 
that helmet is almost there, a couple of bits on the top, um, but the unhelmeted uh, head, I've opened his mouth, don't know why that pops up, so I've got to finish off his chin and give him his beard back, so then I can paint that head. Um, all the bases are all the, um, these ones, they're all from uh, Fenris Games, they're the what he's called, his, he calls them his Sulaco bases. So they're quite nice bases, nice resin bases. Do like his stuff. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, we think we've got it right. So, um, um. One of my mods uh, worked it out. From we found some, I think you found a, a page with runes on it and stuff. Oh, I'm going too early. I'm not sure what this movie I found it the other day. It's called, um, what's it called? The Best of Epic Music. It's, um, it's one of them 24 7 things. So, um, sounded cool, so I thought, why not? There's no actual, I can't see anything on there that's um, a specific tune like off a film or anything, but there could be. But I think it changes randomly throughout the day, so. We shall see if my stream gets muted. <laughs> Although I think I found a way around that. If you're playing music, that uh, might, might get your um, stream muted. If you download your stream immediately after you've finished, or you know, within an hour or so, it doesn't seem to get muted for some reason. Don't know why. I might have to extend this. I'm not sure. Some of the older heads sit a bit low on in the um, in the bodies, like so. <laughs> That's Mr. No Neck. <laughs> so yeah, so that one's going to need extending. Uh, where is it? Like this guy. He currently has another magnet underneath, so I'll have to green stuff around that that magnet there. So I'll have to do the same with this one then, so because now that that brings it up a bit higher, makes a bit more sense. So, but yeah, if you take that magnet off, it's like, oh, where's my neck gone? I don't know. Um, I didn't do it. I only discovered it by accident. Um, Okay, so those two need, let's get them to one side, those two need work on. Um, because I just happened to, I just happened to download it, um, straight away, because I, I don't know what, I can't remember now. Um, these two guys here, I, um, that's actually, uh, which head is it? I think it's that head. Yeah, I know. I think that's that's. Uh, I must get it in the right place. That's that head, and I gave you some more hair. Um, that's an older head, but again, I'll give you more hair on that one. Likewise, this one. I'll put some extra hair on this one. So just so the client had some different heads, some you know, and some special special heads as well. Uh, but I think that's, we're calling these guys, um, oh, off of, um, oh. He-Man, and, um, what's the other guy, he's, he's, he's mate, I can't remember now, that was purely by accident though, I didn't actually mean to make him look like He-Man, but he just happened to. 
Sergeant at Arms, is it? Master, something like that, and the other guy. <laughs> yeah, I can't leave him like that. <laughs> mm, look a bit odd. Okay, so I might say, get your mate home the right depth. I'm going to change toothpicks in a minute because this one's getting a bit full up with glue. Mm -hmm. oh, I suppose I should say where I got me. I get more magnets from Spider Magnets. He's both has his own website and eBay. Good thing with spider magnets is he does actually have a um, he's got an actual Warhammer section. So if you're wondering what glue, what batteries you know, magnets you need, they're actually without having to rummage through his whole website, he does actually have a Warhammer section. So that's why I like using him. Plus he's he's about the pretty much the cheapest for magnets that I've found. That's S P Y D E L I think if I remember rightly. Could chuck a link up or not. Hang on. I've got him bookmarked. Yes, oh no, it says it is an eye. Wink. There you Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty quick with the delivery as well. So, uh, don't need some more magnets on there. But yeah, I mean, I've used uh, a few other places as well, but I find him, he usually has most everything in stock, and, because he's just redone his website as well, so, I've redone his eBay as well. Well, I think I haven't used his eBay for ages, so I'm not really sure, so, but as far as I remember, the price is on, um, his website a little bit cheaper than the eBay because obviously he's got fees and stuff on eBay. I don't, know, I don't know though, that could be fairly similar. off of these necks so I can get a better position on the drill. So yeah, so it's really not too too complicated, it's just time consuming really, just got a bit more work. But then it does give you options with your weapons and whatever especially if you make the kit you know if you glue the kit together 
you can't use those other options that works right okay. so yeah I'll be doing it with like some of the bigger things for me Eldar as well like my Wraith Knight um, so yeah because I've got some bigger magnets as well today but I thought oh well as I'm off Exactly, yeah, yeah. So, especially with like big things like a race night. Uh -huh. so I can have uh, you know, the sword and shield on, or then I can put on the um, other arms. So, I picked up a second hand one. As well as uh, a new one, Kenny. Oh, damn it! So I can use that second hand one to cannibalize and whatever, or even test things. Some of the heads are all right, so I might have to put another little magnet in there if I've got two for one. further maybe yeah, so that's not, um... okay we'll have to have a fiddle with that one that on go back over there All right. a funny stuff or... One thing I've never really done is uh, TNT. No particular reason, just um, never sort of had anyone. I've known a few people that do it, but I've never been, um, well, even not been able to get to the sessions or whatever when they've been on. But. Um, yeah, I just was spinning gross with uh, Warhammer, um, general modelling. 
Mm. So I've never actually got around to doing it at all. It's a bit odd, I suppose. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Sounds a bit Lord of the Rings ish, doesn't it? At least very, at least minimally Celtic. So I found that as well. There's another like a Celtic tunes playlist. Oh no, what's this? Titanic, isn't it? Oh, crocky, yeah, that's it, a bit like, yeah. <laughs> well, I do watch Jacker Club's um, painting. Uh, he doesn't start till about 11 my time most nights. That's the one I was looking for. That's the word. Okay, that's all that worked. And all, all the links are on there now. That's good. I kept missing off the um, Discord. Well, no, I keep forgetting to turn that on anyway. This is what they call epic music then. Right, I think I'm gonna have to take the back off of this one as well. I think I will sit too far forward on all this. Ahead, so I need to replace any of these. So if they don't look quite right. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. I think it's, a, it's only the second time I've actually used it. So. Celtic one as well, which is about three or so hours. So I'd say head as well. Yeah, so there's about 20 heads in this commission, I think, if I remember rightly. 19, 20 heads, something like that. <laughs> like, oh, wowzers. Client's happy though, because I think he thought he was only getting about five or six. <laughs> well, a few helmets maybe, so about eight. So he's getting about twice as many as he thought he was getting, which is pleased him. Spicky boy! <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, they said when they grab a huge magnet, all the arms on that fly off. No. Oh. Okay, folks, well, I hope that's been helpful. As I say, it was only a quick impromptu, um, sort of spur of the moment kind of stream. I hadn't planned on doing it. So that's uh, that's all my magnetising done for today. Like I say, I've a couple of, I've only got a couple more heads to do now, but they've not yet been painted. So, um, so tomorrow night I will be, well, I'm hoping to finish off all the Space Wolves, so I should might still be painting the room priest so hey peggish fox so i might still be painting that tomorrow night um well i actually could probably come on during the day again as well tomorrow couldn't I? unless oh what's the time no because i've got to go out tonight and i so i don't want to push me luck but yeah so i'll crack on with that tomorrow and the rest of these arms I've got all these arms to paint, so obviously I've got to put the um, the markings on the uh, on these arms, and then weather all these these up. So but I do want to get some uh, without gluing myself to the toothpick. That'd be good. I want to get these arms on and picks done before I go out tonight. So. So I might do that before I shoot off. But anyway, thanks, um, thanks everyone for popping in. As it was sort of unplanned. <laughs> um, or I might even, um, might even carry on with me, me wizard. So. I made the bold statement of saying I was going to paint all these green tunic in um, tartan yeah I'm sorry Peckish yeah it was only just a an impromptu I was just starting to do some magnetising I thought oh, well, why not just do a quick stream and so people can see how it's done yeah thanks Game Slayer um, I'll be on proper, properly tomorrow night the usual time do they put this in Duke or uh, oh, what well, can um, what can we do it with? Oh, yeah, I've got another head. I can show you how I do it quickly. Uh, I can, well, no, don't. It's no rush. Hang on, let's get this head off then. Okay, well, it's all right because it can be done later. So what I've got here, I've got two magnets in this and obviously they're opposite so if you look at that they won't go on there so you have to t flip it over so they're opposite uh, poles so that's what um, <coughs> so that makes sure I get everything around the right way so if I'm putting bodies magnets in the bodies that go, I'll have them stacked there and if I'm putting them on the arms and heads then I have it stacked on that one and basically what I do is um, take uh, the bit, sorry, enlarge the hole. I just do it in general stages just to make it easier. Uh, and then the drill bit that's the size of the magnet. I've got a little, I've made a spacer out of um, one of them brush holders or brush covers that go over your paintbrushes when you get them so, that, so it can only go in a certain depth. Obviously you don't want to go too deep. Um, okay, let's see about all that. So that stops it going too far. And then obviously a little bit of super glue. So a bit of super glue in the hole. Why do these toothpicks getting a bit chocker? So you pick the, the stack up and you put this top magnet in the hole. Like so. Push it in. Use your finger or your thumb or whatever, but I tend to find this 
works better. I'll just give it a quick walk with a wet finger just to get rid of any excess. And so then you've got your, your head or arm on your mini. So yeah, super duper. That's pretty much, that's it really. Like I say, you can get different size magnets for different things, so... I put a link up earlier, I don't know if you... Uh, I can do it again. No, I'm not in here, I have to go over here, don't I? Yeah. Do, do, do. Uh, that's where I get my magnets from, spider magnets. So, they come out pretty nice, and it's pretty good prices. Let's put that over there for now. So, yeah. oh. Well, I'm glad I helped. <laughs> you, you timed it just right then, really? Kind of. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll probably be doing some more mag magnetizing as time goes on. Um, I'll probably do a bit on my own guys part of my heads not so much my arms maybe one arm don't know um, yeah so it's just that i just did all these while we were streaming um, did all those heads and half a dozen or so left arms or arms so just to sort of catch up and get these so that's basically these guys are all done now I'm going to go all these guys now. Stop knocking his arm off. <laughs> um, so where's that? Are you in? Get in. Get in the ground. We're above. above. Um, so I can take some pictures of these later and get them on Instagram and get, um, get the client's approval. Make sure he's happy with those. Then they can get safely put away. No worries, dude. Thank you very much. That'd be great. Yeah, cheers. Um, so I'll get these up on Instagram tonight before I go out. Or when I come back, one or the other. Um, and then, like I say, let's get, finish the arms off. Uh, and the room priest. And these can head off back to Denmark, where they belong. And then I can um, get paid. <laughs> Basically. Yay! Yes, yes, very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah. Actually, don't do that. Don't go, don't go on the floor. Alright then. Thank you very much, folks, for dropping in. Um, hopefully, I was uh, helpful. And, um, so, if you want to catch us tomorrow night, do pop in. Um, I might even start a bit earlier. Um, yeah, so, okay. Thanks, thanks for coming in, and catch you later. Bye-bye. Mm. If you check the widget down, down below the stream, that'll give you the times I'm on normally. So, so. Alright, thanks a lot, folks. Catch you later.